Hi, I'm Matt Hussey, and we're here at Samsung's big press conference at CES. And the theme for this year is all about the connected home. <laughs> Samsung wants all of your devices, your smart fridges and your smart washing machines to be able to talk to each other and for you to talk to them on whatever device you want. How does it do that? Through its brand new SmartThings app. The SmartThings app lives on your TV, your fridge and your phone and can do some pretty interesting things. Like setting up your TV. In the olden days, it was a painful process of having to type in your Wi-Fi password and your login details using the TV's remote. Now you simply use your smartphone to connect to the 2018 Samsung TV and it will automatically drag all the information down about your home Wi-Fi and your Samsung account details directly from your phone so you can start watching straight away. That is truly what a seamless experience should look like, Yoon. All these devices working together. Here's what some of the members of the crowd thought about the event. The wider connected self, connected home is something that is shaping up to be a real trend for CES. We kind of see that feeding in with what LG presented earlier today. And also the widest theme for the CES this year is going to be AI. So it's kind of, it kind of reinforces the themes that we thought were going to take shape. And it's good to see Samsung's kind of leading that. The, the car has almost been picked out as the, the, the next great frontier for technology. You saw the, the amount of kind of display and head-up display and things they had in the car and um, the amount of kind of connected um, facilities they had with the home in terms of, and on just on smartphones in terms of knowing when people are arriving and leaving and things like that and getting the car ready. It feels like a, a, a smart step for them given the infrastructure and the size of the company they are and it's a whole new market to get into and they're pretty good at becoming global leaders in various markets so I would guess why not this as well. I mean it kind of makes sense. We've seen a lot of the other companies like well Intel for example on the software side have made a really big play for the connected cars in recent years so the greater diversity the more big players we see making like inroads into this technology, the better it is for the industry. So it's good, it moves it forward. For um, consumer technology companies, they obviously want to be in, in these spaces as well. And, and things like Bixby, for example, ideal for the car. You know, you don't want to take your hands off the wheel, really, to actually use it to actually change your radio station or whatever. You know, being able to use your voice for that is, is fantastic. But Samsung hasn't stopped there. To make it even easier for you to talk to all your devices, it's brought Bixby, its intelligent digital personal assistant, into the smart home. I always love the smart fridge. I'm kind of intrigued because I, you know, having having a having a smart fridge in, in I've got one in my home, and um, you know, really it really does sort of change the way you sort of think about how you do stuff in the kitchen. Um, and I really want to see how that develops with Bixby. I think that's quite interesting, actually. As part of Samsung's vision for a connected home, it's opening the door for other companies to be able to use smart things to make its devices just as intelligent. I, th I think sort of different companies have, uh, have having different approaches, obviously, um, and that's absolutely fine. But um, you know, it relies on you using all their devices or not. Um, and I think you know, having an open ecosystem like Smart Things is actually a really good thing. All of this will allow you to do what you can. Thank you, and have a great CES 2018.